Hello, I'm Greg with a and Manufacturing. Today, I'll be showing you how to rebuild a Quick Pier 3 ozone system. Before we get started, the green screen on the front of the unit is not a light, but a lens that allows light to pass through from the bulb inside. It's best to check the unit at night while power is being delivered to the unit through the pump or a separate time clock. The light that comes through the green lens can be difficult to see during the daytime. For step two, we're going to remove the side cap and the main cover of the unit. Remove the two screws on the left side of the unit. Once those are removed, we're going to remove the end cap. Once the side cap is removed on the unit, we're going to go ahead and slide off the main cover here. For step three, we're going to check the safety switch on the unit. There's a little button on the left side of it here, and as long as you hear it clicking, it's generally okay. If the safety switch does need to be replaced, take a black marker and outline where this old safety switch is before you put the new one on to make sure you put the new one in the exact same location as the old one. So once the cover comes on, it'll still trip the safety switch and cause the unit to come on. For step four, we're gonna remove and replace the bulb. Just pull it out of its clips and unplug the bulb and set to the side. For the last part of step four, we'll be installing the new bulb Make sure to not touch the glass of the bulb and align the four pins of the bulb with the four pins. Plug it in and then clip it back into its position. For step five, we're going to remove and replace the ballast. Here are the tools we'll be needing to remove and replace the ballast. We're going to cut every wire except one, the red wire here that runs from the safety switch to the power. We're going to remove the blue, this other red, white, and black. So four wires that are connected to the ballast, we'll be removing those, but not the main red wire that runs from the switch to the power source. Now let's remove the zip ties that are currently holding the wires together. First, we're going to cut the black and the white wires here, leaving yourself enough room to work with. With the black and the white wires cut, our last two to remove are the blue and the red. With the four wires cut that are holding the ballast to the unit, we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws here and remove the old ballast. These don't take much, just about a half turn. And then they slide off to the side. The new ballast wires come pre-stripped. You will have to strip the ones that you cut when you removed the old ballast. We're gonna go ahead and install the new ballast now. The black and white wires are on your left. The blue and red are on your right. Just insert it underneath the screws and then we're gonna tighten those down. With the bulb and ballast replaced, we're going to now put the unit back together.
we're going to go ahead and install the cover back on the unit here, slipping it on here, sliding it down. For the next step, we're going to go turn the breakers back on at the electric panel. Thanks for watching our video on the Quick Pier 3. Have a great day.